<laughs> All right, Whiskey Six CMS in the wild. All right, visiting from NorCal and hitting a little summit close by. So cool, taking cool. advantage of a business trip and hitting a summit. All right, well let's uh, let's hit uh, Kuyamak. I think uh, we got two options here. Um, you can do um, a trail, which is pretty. It's kind of a little loop up and over, and then uh, down the road or just up the road and back. Okay. Depends on how much time you have and what you want to do. Depending on time, I'll yeah. see if I do Stonewall, or I'm just going to be I'm good with one summit. Okay. So, yeah, you can you can do both by doing can, that. Yeah, it'll be. And what's the distance? The the viewway and the direct way. What's the difference? distance difference maybe an extra mile oh so yeah i'm gonna go up the, the view way and down the direct way and sounds good up a little yeah and then you'll have time to get over to stonewall i so like it that's, that's the great thing about doing this one is you can easily get a double here yeah i like it getting here in the morning all a right lot better than the bay area <laughs> CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Yeah, what do you think? This is a great trail. The weather's perfect. It's not hot. It's a good traction. Wish I had my mountain bike. <laughs> <laughs> it's not raining either. So, all right. Well, it's uh, pretty and it's quiet. Pretty so far. I'm hoping we don't freeze our butts off at the top. What do you think? I don't think we'll freeze. I think we're good. <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful activation. I like the way this guy thinks. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome in here today. The uh, overcast is creating a color cast. Gets you a little bit deeper green. And yeah, it's really nice up here today. Just gorgeous. And I thought we'd take uh, Brian up this way. You can go straight up and down the fire road, but that's not nearly as pretty. And that's, that's why we do this. Brian hiking back there? Nor do you get the, uh, if we would have took the direct route, that personal one-on-one -on -one CW instruction from the Ham Ninja. So, some good tips along the way. I won't be operating CW today. <laughs> I'll be <laughs> says me today, but uh, some good tips to take home. So, thanks, Chris. You're welcome, Brian. And some of you out there that have watched my CW are probably asking yourselves right now, why in the hell is he taking advice from that guy? He's terrible, right? That's the exact wrong thing to do. I'm sorry, I've ruined another CW operator. You're welcome. Oh, that's some really bad CW. I'm gonna have to go talk to those guys. All right, we're getting close to the top here. We've got through the, the uh, river bed. It seems to stretch on for miles. And we're not too far now. Beautiful, it's foggy. It's windy. It's gonna be interesting when we get to the top here, but yeah, it's all good. Beautiful, beautiful day. There it is. Okay, the lenses are a little bit wet, but this guy over here, I had to stop because you know he's completely worn out. He thanks, just... thanks, Chris. I was beat. <laughs> and as we get to the summit, I'm a little more nervous because on the way up, Ham Ninja is telling me about CW and how to get started. Then he's bringing up on the trail in the single track as we're heading up. It's Misty. He starts talking about a strap on and he likes to bang it and he's going to show me some <laughs> tattoo and starts unzipping his pants. <laughs> I'm getting a little nervous. So, I don't know, we're at 6,300 feet, about four and a half miles in. I might have to hit the SOS button, guys. <laughs> hey, here's the thing. I heard that these Navy guys like to have fun. I, you know, well, okay, let's, let's find out. <laughs> let's see. <how> <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough goofing around. <laughs> enough yakking. We we gave Brian a chance to get you know <laughs> caught back up. It wasn't me, of course. I, I'm fine. It's only six thousand. I feel like the boss up here. That's bullshit. Anyway, off we go. 
Okay, um, we're at the summit. Um, it's really windy just up there. I mean, this, the mountain's blocking the wind perfectly. Um, Brian's up there with his HT. I'm kind of soaked through just because it's damp up here, and I, I, I know I just get chilled to the bone really quick. So I'm going to set up down here. Um, the lens is all full of rain and stuff, but um, I don't know if you can see it through the trees, but there's a, yeah, there are the towers. So my glasses are all fogged up. That's why I'm like doing this stuff. Anyway, we're perfectly blocked from the wind, uh, the direction it's coming from. So I think I'm going to throw on a shell, throw the wire up in the air and see what I can do. So let's see what happens. Uh, Brian's going to join me here just a little bit with his cakes too, uh, and figure out what we're going to do. Okay, so to tip 42, if it's cold, bring something that'll get you warm. I'm gonna have some nice hot tea. Okay, I don't have the recorder plugged in. We'll grab a QSO this way. Let's get some CW going. It's nice to have a spot of nice hot tea at the summit. I think it's better in the trees over there. <laughs> There's some hot tea over there for you. Oh, thank you. There's a cup. Just it's the water should be hot, and uh, pour yourself a cup. All right, I got five. I got zero. I got to get one but you to make activate. Tea. Huh? But you made tea. Yeah, I was busy making you tea. <laughs> There we go. Whoop. Here is a shot, I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit for you, it'll probably degrade, but there is Stonewall Peak. Um, just got covered up by the clouds coming through, it's really pretty on the way down. We haven't gotten any heavy rain yet, I'm hoping to get to the car before it starts raining proper. We just got missed it out. I was very cold, I couldn't feel my fingers. So my CW was, uh, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> he made that noise. It's like, cool. <laughs> snake. <laughs> <My bell. laughs> so, anyway, my CW was suffering. I couldn't pack up. We got out of there, but uh, it's nice now. And uh, so, what do you think? Yeah, if this was up at the summit, I'm sure we could have set up a little bit longer. I just went with the HT. No HF for me today. Okay. I um. Let's see. I got 30 contacts. I worked 17 and 20, and I had I had a pileup on 20 that just would not stop. I mean, it was just crazy. So that was oh, it was fun, but I was ready to go, and I was just freezing my booty off. But I I tried to work 
I tried to work everybody, so hopefully everybody got it worked. And the last one in, squeaked in. I had already sent out QRT WX, but uh, people were just, <laughs> I think that just spurred people on more. But uh, finished off with Christian F4 WBN. Thanks, Christian, for, for helping me finish that summit off. Um, that was fun. But, uh, yeah, 17 and 20, then, then yeah, we got out of there. I, I uh, of course, as you saw, warmed up some hot tea, and that was really nice. Have some hot tea there. What do you think? Is that the way to do it? The hot tea was great. I was able to hunker down in the rocks and the the cover of the trees while I uh, watched the ham ninja shiver and freeze over there <laughs> while he was trying to bang his paddle. So. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. good. So thank you for the tea. Yeah. Yeah. So we had a good time up here and it uh, looks like we escaped the heavy rain. Um, so it's, it's pretty out with the clouds coming through. Uh, if we get another good shot of Stonewall, I'll get you that. But anyway, we're heading back down to the parking lot. As you can see, we're just taking the uh, the access road. It's uh, used by the antenna crews and Forest Service. But uh, it's uh, yeah, it's a good one. And the winds are howling up there. Look at these clouds are just yeah. cooking by, man. Okay. Well, I'm gonna say 73 here. If you want to know more about how to do this hobby. Or you have some comments about the new camera. By the way, this is day two uh, without the shields. So hopefully it's a little bit better. Well, we don't have direct sunlight either. We did have some rain and mist on the lenses. But uh, yeah, if you want to know more about doing the hobby, go to hamninja.com. And I got a four-part series out there on activating. I got another one on uh, chasing and some other stuff. Hamninja.com slash SOTA360. Uh, check them out, and I hope that helps you. And until next time, 73. 73.